Let's face it, augmented and virtual reality has been altering our day-to-day -day lives faster than anyone could have anticipated. According to an IDC report, global spending on AR is forecasted to accelerate from $12 billion last year to $72.8 billion in 2024. Well, people spending on virtual and augmented reality is and will stay a significant part of the market. And according to Goldman Sachs research, they have the potential to become the next big industry that can touch $80 billion annually by 2025. For years, there's been a consistent demand for this technology among tech enthusiasts. And recently, the world's largest and most valuable company, Apple, is reportedly working on developing a high-end virtual reality headset for a potential sale that is believed to be released in 2022. But what exactly is Apple up to with their VR headset? And why did it take them so long before producing one? Well, sit back, relax, and watch out until the end of this video if you want to find out more. Apple has a long-standing history of introducing innovative and often revolutionary products, starting from the early Macintosh 128K to the game-changing iPods and iPhones we see today. Undoubtedly, Apple has developed a reputation of staying ahead of its competitors, but it seems that ever since Steve Jobs, the founder and the creative genius of Apple, passed away, the company started losing its spark. Over the years, they have innovated their iPhones and MacBooks, but we haven't really seen new and revolutionary products since the iPhone. Well, it is definitely not easy to create a new product, which is maybe why Apple decided on working and improving an existing technology rather than creating a new of their own. Industry watchers and participants think that Apple has an excellent chance to validate and revolutionize AR as it did with smartphones, but Apple is not the only company working on these products. All the big tech players, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, and Amazon are in the game as well, with Facebook's Oculus being the dominant market leader. Considering Apple's strict policy, every detail of their product must be exactly right from design and functionality to aesthetics. And as far as we know, the Apple VR headset has been in the making for quite a long time now. Maybe Apple is taking so long to roll out their VR headset because they don't want their headset to look anything like the ones currently in the market. Possible, right? Besides knowing Apple, we can expect the VR headset to be power-packed with a lot of functionality, and the more days it delays, the more features it might have. For Apple, at least, this kind of technology is actually nothing new. It is said that a secret Apple team has been working tirelessly to clear the technical and aesthetic hurdles required to launch a virtual reality product that meets their standard. Chief Hardware Engineer Dan Risho has been moved to a new executive role that oversees VR and AR development within the company. Apple certainly hasn't been shy of making acquisitions in the VR and AR space, buying up motion capture from FaceShift and AR software startup Matayo in 2014 and facial recognition startup Emotion in the following year. And recently, Apple has purchased the Californian virtual reality company NextVR, another piece that was added to the growing list of evidence that Apple is starting to explore virtual and augmented reality is when they hired Doug Bowman, a researcher and professor at Virginia Tech specializing in virtual reality. Apple made its commitment even more evident by launching ArcKit, a platform designed to help developers make the most of the AR capabilities within Apple's existing suite of devices. It combines device motion tracking, camera scene capture, advanced scene processing, and display convenience to simplify the task of building an AR experience. And while you wouldn't necessarily know that ArcKit is at work, Apple technology can already comfortably recognize and virtually manipulate horizontal planes and walls in any given real-world space. So what can we actually expect from Apple's VR headset? According to Bloomberg, Apple Inc.'s first crack at a headset is designed to be a pricey niche precursor to a more ambitious augmented reality product that will take longer to develop. The initial device has confronted several development hurdles, and the company has conservative sales expectations illustrating how challenging it will be to bring this nascent consumer technology to the masses. It will display an all-encompassing 3D digital environment for gaming, watching a video and communicating, AR functionality, the ability to overlay images and information over a view of the real world, will be more limited. Apple has planned to launch the product as soon as 2022, going up against Facebook Inc.'s Oculus, Sony Corporation's PlayStation VR, and headsets from HTC Corporation. 
The price of VR headsets from the market today starts from $300 up to $1,000 per unit and it is expected that the Apple VR will cost much more than that. The VR headset that Apple is currently developing is said to be a stepping stone for the augmented reality glasses that Apple is also currently working with. From this, I think you already understand that Apple might be going for the staggered approach like what they did with the iPhone. The iPod was first released as a music player. Then it was upgraded to the iPod Touch that could play music videos and had access to the internet and then finally upgraded as an iPhone. However, this time it seems like Apple is not creating an iPhone-like hit for its first headset. Instead, the company is building a high-end niche product that will prepare outside developers and consumers for the AR glasses. Apple aims to include some of its most advanced and powerful chips in the headset along with displays that are much higher resolution than those in existing VR products. Details about the VR headset that Apple is developing are still sketchy due to their secrecy around the project. However, according to Bloomberg and other publications, the VR headset codename N301 will incorporate 15 cameras, and 8 of those cameras will be used to offer an image transmissive AR experience by capturing surroundings in a nuanced depth. The other 6 will reportedly serve as an innovative biometric system to monitor eye movements and expressions, and the final camera will scan the immediate environment around the header. In terms of screens, the headset will reportedly incorporate two high-resolution 8K screens which will help users focus on fine details as well as helping them view real people standing both in front of and behind virtual objects. The headset's wraparound visor will make a point of seamlessly blocking out any peripheral vision to stop light leaking into the field of vision and ruining the AR or VR effect. And one leading theory is that the headband will feature spatial audio technology familiar to AirPods Pro customers that already offers a compelling surround sound experience. Apple is also testing the prototype with external cameras to integrate some augmented reality features into the headset. The cameras will be used for hand tracking and spatial awareness. If the cameras are included in the final version, then we can expect the headset to include air typing, which would significantly differentiate the Apple VR headset from other headsets in the market that use game controllers. There are also rumors that the headset can come with wearable finger bands that can be tracked for controlling input. As far as the hardware and functionality are concerned, Apple seems to have left no stone on the turn. The AR glasses, on the other hand, were codenamed N421 and are still in the early design stage. The AR glasses are under research and development for now, although Apple has included AR features in iPhone since 2017. Migrating those features into two fully functional AR glasses will be a difficult task. The possible launch date for the VR headset is around 2022, whereas there is no tentative date for the AR glasses. So. It is safe to say that the AR glasses launch date entirely depends on the success of the VR headset. Who knows? These steps that Apple is making may just be the first step into making AR and VR a reality. What are your thoughts about Apple's VR headset? Do you think they can compete with the big brands which are already dominating the market? Let us know in the comments section down below. We hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more awesome and substantial videos like this one. Thanks for watching.